All right, greetings, greetings from sunny South Texas. How's everybody doing today? All right, man. Uh, picked these up online recently, and um, I really don't know what they are. Took a shot on it. They come in. So not going to do like an unboxing. Just going to do a, let's do a flip through. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at A1. Again. I had no idea what these were, but when I started looking at the listing, I saw some names on there that I was like, hey, all right, let me check that out. Okay, these are put out by Atomic Press, right? And I believe these are from the UK. So let's go ahead and I guess just take a flip through them, listen to a little music over here, jam out a little bit, everybody, right? And um, yeah. Let's go through these together and see what's going on with them, right? So this is originally a set of six, right? But I got book two, I got book three, I got book four, and yeah, number five, right? Again, all I had to go off were colors, I mean, excuse me, covers. And um, that's where we're at on this, all right? Turn that down a little bit. All right, before I um, continue any further, I just want to apologize ahead of time. Apologize to my mama. Apologize to all you fine folks out there. Because when I flipped through some of these, I did do. I did take a little sneak peek about it. But um, there might be stuff in here that's not appropriate. So I'm going to make sure I don't stay on that page too long, all right? <laughs> all right, so let's look at book number one again. This one's uh, sealed the deal for me. That cover, Mr. Monster. I love Mr. Monster comics. I got a, I got a few of them around. And uh, when I saw that, I was like, oh, hold it, hold it. Let me see what else we got going on here. All right, so let's open this up, right? Let's, let's take a look at some of the stats on this. Oh, by the way, I look at this table of contents. I'll come back to it, but this one is actually a flip book. It's the only one that I have that's actually a flip book. And there's, I guess that's the the real front cover. A little modern art, I guess, right here. So let's open it up and take a look at the essentials in here. See what's going on. All right, so it says um, Atomica Press. Well, dang, which one is it? Oh, yeah. I was reading an Atomic Press. It's a Atomica. I guess that's how you say that. And there it is right there. Tomica Press, all right, so this come out in, um, let's see if I find a year, come on easy, do your do your work before ahead of time, I can more guess the 90s, if I see something on here that's specific, I'll say, yeah, it's from this, but Tomica Press, and, uh, oh, see, there you go, I don't apologize, so, again, let's look at some of the creators in here, kind of see what we're looking at, all right? So a lot of them I don't know, I'm going to tell you up front, but I know Dave Gibbons, right? I know, um, I've heard this one, McKeever, before. Um, there's one big, Michael Kaluta, of course, reading those horror magazines from the 70s. Magnola, I know him. And I guess all these are in one little story, but we've got more creators. We've got Alan Moore doing some writing on here. Anything else stick out so far? So let's take a quick look. I'm going to kind of skip those front ones because we all know what's all there. All right, so I just want to do this video, just kind of flip through this and look at some of the art, right? Um, first off the bat, King Pant, right? I don't know. This says 1989, so I wasn't too far off. Now, that art right there, what do y'all think? Not my first choice, but it's not bad either. All right, so we're going to do some flipping through. Mr. X Windows. Okay, this is the one that had all those different creators on it. So let's take a look. Mr. X. Why does that sound like I should know it, right? All right, this is looking good right here. I like that one down there. All right, let's do some more here. Oh, we got to turn that one quick. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. That's not bad. The art is not bad on that. What are we looking at here? Looks like an advertisement. All right, so here you go. 
There's a Mr. Mr. X character and there's all the people that were responsible for it. Let's keep going here. All right, some more cartoony art. Well, again, it's not bad. It's not my first choice, but it's not bad. If I start reading the story, I'll probably get into it a little bit more. Let's keep going here. This must be a bunch of cartoon stuff. <laughs> Easy got ripped off. Nah, man, I don't know. All right, this one looks okay. All right, let's see. Check it out, check it out. Like I said, just going to do some flipping through. Tell me what y'all think. Oh, we got some pros here. All right. Pro stories. Okay. Another story here. That art doesn't look too bad. I would say that's pretty 80s right there. It's kind of cool. All right. Empty chairs. Hmm. A little bit better. Yeah, a little bit darker. Let's see. All right, so now it's going to flip over. Let's see if Mr. Monster pays off. All right. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Now we're getting there. There you go. Especially, what is this? Mars attacks. That's not too bad, y'all. That's not too bad. That's cool. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> All right, there you go. There he is. Hero shot right there, Mr. Monster. What we got next? Mm, Glenn Fabry. Don't recognize him, but I, that, that art's not bad. I'm getting a little bit more detail now. Jeepster. Again, I got to be ready to be quick on the draw here. Make sure I don't... That's not bad. All right. Whoop. Well, turn that one. Okay. This one is um, Men in Hats. Barry, all right, here we go. Barry Windsor Smith now. Very light line work, I guess, right? That's what you would call that. Not too detailed. No dialogue. If y'all want to read that with me, I'll go ahead, pause it. it. Looks like a deep thinker one right there. The old man said. All right, so. Not the Barry Windsor Smith that I was expecting, but <laughs> let's move on. All right, here you go. Got some barbarians going on, man. Beasley, Bisley is the artist on this one. Okay, so I should have said uh, this is from, like I think I said, this is from the UK. So I don't know if they were featuring a bunch of UK talent. I mean, reading off some of those names, I would, I would probably say so. There you go. Now we're looking at something that... Uh, black and white horror magazines all right that makes me feel good come back to some comics that really care all right talk and probably some of y'all might be looking at this hey that's so and so that's so and so that's why i bought it all right if i didn't say that i picked up this lot simply because again trying to feed my mind call it a uh, comic knowledge and if i see something in here in any of these stories, track down the artist, track down the writer. That gives me another another lead to follow. Because I'm... Uh, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. Let's see. Let's take a look at book number three of six. Okay? All right. Get off that cover before... All right. Who we got in this one? Brian Bolin. Okay. Got him going on in here. McKeon. Let's see. Grant Morrison writer. I'm just reading off the names that that Bolton. Okay, I know that one. Alan Moore again. Mobius. All right. Let's see what we look like on Mobius. Okay, the American. All right. Who's doing the art on here? Oh, here we go. Pencils. Doug Braithwaite. All right. If I said that wrong, I apologize. Dougie Breathe White. Okay, this looks good. Yeah, this is looking a lot better. All right. I guess sometimes, like I said, the art in this one wasn't too bad, but 
If this is what we're going to see in here, I'm digging this. Yeah, here we go. Mm. I'm going to get lost in all this detail here. That's not bad. Okay, let's get to the next one. Easy. All right, let's see. The actress and the bishop. Brian Bolin. Here we go. Some Brian Bolin art. That's nice. That is nice. Whoop. Let's go on ahead. Who we got here? Dave McKean. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb here. Is this the same dude that did uh, Sandman covers? That kind of reminds me of Sandman. Y'all are probably like, yeah, stupid he was. Okay, well. See, I'm learning here. All right, so it looks more like photography to me. A bit dark. All right, let's see if we can pick it back up. Leon Ryder. All oh, right, okay, so we got some westerns. All right, this made it worth it right here. We got some westerns going on. Okay, Warren Police. I'm not sure I said that right. All right, you got your nine page panels going in here. All the way through. Was this a comic strip at one time? Not sure. Alright, that's some good western art going on. Here we got the boogeyman. Don't know, that's probably an advertisement. Let's go to the next one. Okay. That art's not bad. That looks pretty good. A little horror story going. Alright, some more. All right, so book number two of the book, this is what, book number three. This one's looking pretty good. I'm digging it. Oh, yeah, look at that. This one is John Bolton. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. That looks like a different artist. Maybe a different story in the back. All right, so there you go, guys. That's number book number three. Let's check out book number four. And again, any of y'all have these or, I don't know, y'all like it? Y'all dig it? Book number four. Again, bought it simply just to see what's new. Or, or excuse me, not really what's new, but what's new to me. Okay. James Robinson. All right, there you go, Higgy Pop. James Robinson doing Grendel. He's doing the storytelling. I think I'm recognizing more of the the art the uh, Mobius. There's Mobius again. I'm recognizing more of the authors more so than the um, the artists. There's Robinson again, Whitaker. All right, so y'all, how do y'all say that name? Bill Sinkovich or is Bill Sinkovich? What am I hearing, right or wrong? Kevin Nolan. All right. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Grendel is the first story. See if we see Grendel in here. Yeah, that's kind of, there's his mask right there. All right, so the art is not bad on this one. We're doing good so far. All right, Hill City. All right, I can dig that. That looks like some 80s indie art. Let's see, let's move it along here. Oh, there's that ad again. Turn it easy. The funeral. Richard Baker. Maybe I'm bad. All right, so that. Eh. I mean, I dig the, the the sharp contrast here of the black and white. Just, but I don't know. That one throws me off. Maybe somebody out there is a fan of this. Glenn Fabry. Chris Smith is a writer. Glenn Fabry is the author. Excuse me, the artist. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it moving here. Here we go. This looks like Mobius. Yep. All right. So I'm going to dig this story once I sit down and read it. All right, so, so far, I think I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I still got one book to go. I don't know. And, you know, sometimes the art might not be there, but the story picks it up. So, 
I, you know, I, I, I try my best to find something good in everything that I read instead of just trying to nitpick it, but I think I can dig all this right here. All right, let's keep going here. More Mobius, it looks like. And the Tank Girl. I never got into Tank Girl. I never. I, I've always heard that name. I just didn't. Never really followed it. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's the greatest book ever produced. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, this looks cool. What is this? Do -do 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 -do. Don't see any information on it yet. Ah, oh, it's one of those kind of... Okay. That name looks familiar. I guess this is all Mobius. Alright, so if you're a Mobius fan, maybe you'll dig on... Is that Mobius? It kind of looks like it. By the way, I'm listening to supposedly royalty-free music, so if I offend the YouTube gods, I do apologize for that, too. So, again, sorry to Mama for showing some of these pictures. Sorry to all you folks out there who didn't want to show too much of that. And sorry, YouTube, if this music is not authorized. <laughs> but I dig it. As I'm looking for, I'm looking for uh, music that I can play because I got a copyright on something. I don't know. But, you know, at this point, it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, A1, here we go. I, this is book number five or six, so where am I at so far? Yeah, I like it. I like it. This cover's pretty cool. We got a monster carrying away a young lady in the swamp. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, if I ever come across number one and six, I might complete the set. Okay, we got Neil Gaiman, Kelly Jones, Milligan, Writer, let's see. Kubert, all right, we're going to see some tour. All right, so that's cool. I uh, don't really recognize anybody else. No, that's the fun part, right? You don't have to know everything. Here we go. Neil Gaiman and Kelly Jones on this one. That's cool right there. And I, I, I like black and white comics i really do because um again my uncles they were reading that conan stuff like that those eerie magazines and again this is uh this is home for me that's kind of cool all right let's see who we got here peter milligan the friends Oh, a Kafka story. All right. That ought to be cool. Ah, I see. I like that. Oh, this looks cool. The Shock Monkey. Who did the Shock Monkey? Shaky Kane. <laughs> uh, guest pencils by Brett Ewins. Okay, Brett Ewins must be the artist. Shout out to Shaky King. Oh, 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 oh. Let's finish out. Now we get to the good. Okay. You got to recognize that immediately. There's your mighty Joe Kubert. Tour. This one's called Food Chain. All right. So, okay, cool. I dig this. Look at that. So far, no dialogue. We're just going to let the, the art tell the story. Yep. Very nice. All right, so yes, I'm happy now. I got a piece of uh, good material to study here. What is this called? The Devil at Runes Le Chateau. All right. Oh, that's cool. I, I, boom. Yeah, I dig that. All right, so this last book is looking pretty good. Wile E. Coyote. Okay, so yeah, so now we're going to get back into some of this. Uh, I don't know, like I said, I, 
not my first choice, but oh, turn it. Definitely not my first choice, but let's keep going on. Let's see. Whoa, what do we got here? Reasons. Jeffrey Tongs. Mm. Oh, here we go. Nick Abazudis right here. Okay, I was looking at this side, and I see this. Okay, a little cartoony, but still, that doesn't... That actually looks kind of cool. I like that. Hey, well, okay, what is this? Jim Sullivan. Kind of looks like the old Mad Magazine, Crack Magazine. I don't know, I was, what about y'all? I, 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 um... I think I might have read more Crack Magazine, but that's what this kind of reminds me of. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All those parodies had these really cool likeness to the people they were parodying back then. Whoa, Bruce Lee. Elvin Stein in Yin and Yankee. I guess that's Elvin Stein. <laughs> Let's get some eyes going here. The proxy. All right, so this is kind of cool. You got two page stories, six page stories, I guess. All right. Let's wind it down here. All right, so hey, anybody has these? you let me know. A little bit more cartoony art. There you go. All right, so there you go. That's a cool cover. That's a cool cover. I would have probably chosen something else for that. And as far as this flip book one, this one, way better than this cover. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A1 Atomica Press out of the UK should be a six book series now I'm on the hunt for one and six so that's all I got for now appreciate y'all stopping by thank you and uh, y'all take care now